Is this why people get hurt? Some of you might be familiar with acute to chronic. It's a way to assess the amount of load you've placed on your body. Basically, you compare the last couple of days relative to maybe the last couple of weeks, and you look to see whether or not they are balanced or out of balance. Let's pretend we plotted those days from the last couple of weeks. We have intensity on the y-axis and the number of workout days on the x-axis. During the last couple of weeks, this is kind of how hard our workouts were. However, the last couple of days, look at how much harder our workouts got. If you were to put this on a scale, the last couple of days would be outweighing the last couple of weeks. This is an imbalance of acute to chronic workload. This imbalance from, say, the last couple of days relative to the last couple of weeks is one of the main culprits of leading to injury. It makes total sense, right? Because also with massive spike in workload, of course, our body's not used to that. And obviously, it doesn't guarantee you're always going to get hurt. The odds just might be a little bit higher. Understanding this ratio allows you to properly deal with load management. We want progressive overload, not ridiculous, aggressive overload. So a simple thing to keep in mind is how difficult have your last couple of days been relative to the last couple of weeks? Keeping track of this allows for a happy acute to chronic ratio. You can learn more from a researcher named Tim Gabbett.